The big picture here is incredibly troubling, but let me ask you about putting a human face on this. ISIS is infamously cruel to the people that it takes control of. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people now find themselves in ISIS's hands. What are they going to endure? John, well, anybody who supported the government will probably be executed within the next 24 hours. Um, their families will be driven out. Um, it, it will be a bloodbath over the next couple of days. All the soldiers that were captured will be executed, and there's quite a number of them in, in many districts, not just the military command center. Um, this, this group is at once a military force, well organized, run by Bathy officers, former Bathy officers. Um, they know what they're doing militarily, and it's also a terror group where they killed large numbers of people to, to cause, you know, ethnic cleansing, if you like. The U.S. says it's rushing in uh, weapons to Iraq, and according to state TV there, the Iraqi prime minister is asking for paramilitary troops and, and Sunni tribesmen to, to go into battle. Is it too late for Ramadi? I can't imagine that the government's going to take it back quickly. Uh, the alternative is to send in the uh, Hashta Shabi, which is the Shia militias, to try to take it back. But that would be a different bloodbath on, on its own because if he's Shuni, Sunni against Shia, who knows what that would provoke. I think Ramadi's probably lost for a long time and other parts of Al Anbar province as well. What, what's clear to me is the, this the ISIS is enduring and will continue to endure. There will be no offensive on Mosul this summer or even this fall. Uh, we're going to have to find a different way to deal with it. Air, bombing them from the air is not going to work. Uh, we haven't been in touch with the real people in Al Anbar province. Um, we've been, the, the government's been using Sunni tribes that have been loyal to the government for years, but they have no standing in Al Anbar. You know, I keep coming back to the question, is it time to divide up Iraq, you know, or come to a political su settlement to take Sunni support, withdraw it from the Islamic State? But it's enormously complicated, and I just, what we're going to see now is a continuing war for a very long time. I want to ask you about this because um, the Western strategy was that Iraq would remain whole and that it would be defended with the help of the West by airstrikes, by supplying and training the Iraqi army. When you look at a place like the fall of Ramadi, what is, what is it evidence of? I mean, is it evidence that the Western strategy has failed? I think we've utterly failed. I mean, we failed going back to 2003. Masoud Barzani, the head of the Kurds, was in Washington 10 days ago. And he told the White House, as I understand, that unless he gets money for oil, he's going to break the Kirsch a part of the country off. Uh, the Sunnis are clearly drawing lines. I just don't see Iraq coming back together, no matter how many weapons we send, what sort of air support we provide. It's a lost cause.